this is actually key because of two things. Number one, when you give someone else responsibility for creating money, we're going to renew the topic of money since we're money goddesses this week, okay? Um, but it could be love. So any, you know, if you're looking for a relationship or new job or career, or whatever, I mean, you can turn the turn the title on it. But we're going to use money throughout here. If you give someone else the responsibility for being your money source, that well is going to dry up, and it's going to dry up fast. And what do I mean by that? If you give your parents the responsibility for being your money source if you give your clients the responsibility for being your money source your spouse your partner your business associate um the world clients customers okay if you give them the responsibility to be your source of money okay and i'll, I'll clarify that a little bit more that well is going to dry up. It is not their job to provide you with money, right? Money comes as a secondary benefit to your alignment. So when clients come, when customers come, when you're given a gift by your parents or when your spouse uh, gives you money, that is the reflection of you holding responsibility for creating and aligning with your own inner source and your own abundance line. Okay, do you follow? You pull that responsibility in, you make source, your source, your energy, your divine line, the only thing that is responsible for creating money. You amplify that vibration of what it is that you want to create in your divine line. And then it comes to you through other people, but not as the initial force. It comes to you as a response to the inner work that you've done. Got it? That is going.